What are you getting at, Lola? Please, please don't try to deny it because I heard you say it. Uh huh. What yeah. did you say? So, day after day, as Buzz tries to get the pieces of his life back together, his loving, adoring wife to be is lying to him. You slept with another man, and now you're trying to pawn this baby off his head. You have no idea what you're talking about. There were lives at stake when this baby well, was conceived. Lives at stake? Wow, that's very dramatic. I mean, you don't have a better lie than that to I, tell? I'm not lying to you, Nola. You cheated on Buzz. I did that's not the lie. cheat And now you're trying to Buzz. keep him tied to you with a baby that isn't his because you know, you know that that's the only reason he's staying with you now. And maybe he shouldn't. How dare you say this? How dare you? It's just that I don't... I don't think you'd be satisfied, really, with a life of, of buzz and, and babies and, and the diner and, and, and trips to the grocery store. I... I don't know why I'm talking to you, but, you know, I would be satisfied living on the street with buzz. Oh, please. No, no, you... You just... You just settle down here for a minute, because I want to tell you something. In case you don't know, buzz loves this diner. He's gonna remember. He's gonna love it even more. But don't you make the mistake of thinking that I don't love him. I used to think that. I really did. But I don't anymore. I think you love... I think you love the high life. I think you love Europe. I think you love men. I think you love cars. I think you love jewelry. What, what is it that you steal what you can't afford? Is that how the cat burglars work? I don't have to explain my life but you know, to you, you get a whatsoever. Really, really lousy record, and Buzz always gets the short end of the stick. It's funny, I don't see things that way at all. You're gonna hurt him again, and I won't. Do you know what, lady? Come here. Get, your hands. get out here. I don't know what your game is, but why don't you explain it to me right now? Right here. All right, I will, I will. You see, I run a restaurant. I live in a boarding house. My roots, my expectations are closer to Buzz. I would be better with him than you. Oh. Oh. You are that deluded. I see. Fine. He doesn't love you. Are you really so sure about that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you think he loves you now? Yes. <laughs> and he's going to love me even more when he remembers. And when he remembers. And once the truth comes out. What's going to happen then? You don't want... Because then you would destroy him, and I'm not going to let you do that, so you're not going to tell him the truth. You understand, Miss Bloom, you are still under oath. Yes, ma'am, I do. Abigail, thank you for telling us about your ordeal. I know it was difficult for you to do. Now then, I would like to focus on uh, what happened after the attack. Would that be all right? Yes, fine. Is there a man in your life? Yes, there is. A wonderful man, and his name is Dr. Rick Bauer. How did you feel about Dr. Bauer before the attack? Mm -hmm. We were very close. We had discussed marriage. And after the attack, mm -hmm. what happened to your relationship? Well, I had trouble letting him come near me. And he wanted to help me, but the more he tried, the more I pushed him away. And why do you think that was? I was angry at Roy for hurting me in such a filthy way, and I took it out on Rick. And how did Dr. Bauer respond? Abigail, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. How did Dr. Bauer respond not being able to be close to you? Well, it was very difficult, and um, I thought I was going to lose him. 
And why was that? I didn't... I didn't feel like I was a normal woman anymore. I can't really describe to you how shameful I felt. I felt ugly and dirty, and I thought that he deserved someone better than that, so I just pushed him away, and I'm very, very sorry for that. I'm sorry. Your Honor. Miss Bloom, please direct your comments to Mr. Mahler. Okay. Sorry. Your Honor, at this time, I have no further questions. Your witness, Mr. Warren. 